All right, uh, I am live. I'm still getting the hang of this, um, this, um, this thing on the phone, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm here today uh, with, uh, I'm obviously not in the, there we go. I am not in the studio today. Um, I am taking a, a little time off because um, the past two days have been exhausting. And uh, to a certain extent, I'm feeling a little bad about that. These hearings today with Fiona Hill and David Holmes, Fiona Hill, the former National Security Council Senior Director for Europe and Russia, and David Holmes, who is an aide to a uh, top diplomat in Ukraine, started their testimony today. Um, and uh, I tried to do this a little bit earlier, but my uh, sound wasn't good because I had my Bluetooth thing on and that was uh, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, the, the opening statements from both David Holmes and Fiona Hill, they were very different in their nature, but they were both uh, stunning in their own right. Um, David Holmes provided a very long, comprehensive, essentially TikTok on how the whole Ukraine interfered with the 2016 election conspiracy theory basically was nurtured and grown uh, by Rudy Giuliani in part, uh, or I should say inspired by the former corrupt Ukraine prosecutor uh, who was mad that um, he was getting basically sidelined by, um, by the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. And uh, Rudy Giuliani was over there. And, it, and I think there's a whole nother part of this story that I think is starting to come out that involves uh, Parnas and Fer, uh, Furman, or Fruman, the uh, Giuliani associates. But leave that aside for a moment. None of the testimony had to do with that today. But this guy, David Holmes, gave a uh, TikTok, another one of these really impressive um, foreign service folks who I, I, I honestly, I, I, uh, I'm not generally prone to this type of uh, sass, sappiness or any of this, but um, really impressive. Uh, the, all these foreign service people are really, really impressive. Uh, and uh, he basically walked through the whole uh, TikTok of how this thing happened. He obviously told the story about Sunland. He uh, made it almost impossible to believe that folks like Sundlin and Volcker did not understand that Burisma equaled investigate the Bidens. He didn't say that explicitly, but he made it almost impossible to believe in retrospect. And, um, and then Fiona Hill uh, came on. She is a, uh, an immigrant. She was uh, from England. She is a, uh, a Russia expert. And uh, she did not do, uh, her opening statement was very different than uh, Holmes's. Holmes's was, uh, like I say, a TikTok, a, a long narrative. She basically said, I'm here just to tell the truth. I'm compelled to do it. I have no interest in the outcome of this beyond it, it getting to the truth. And you can ask me questions. And, but she, her testimony, and we've only heard from the Schiff and uh, Goldman, the, the, the Democratic questioning of them, her testimony went on to say, not only is the Ukraine... Um, conspiracy theory completely bunk. She made it quite clear uh, that um, as a Russian expert, she basically laid out the Russian interference and the agenda of the Russian interference in our election. Now, I don't think she has the ability to, um, to assess whether Donald Trump won because of Russian interference, but she certainly has the ability to assess whether they were successful in their agenda in sort of casting a cloud upon the election. And um, it, I mean, it really debunked every right-wing conspiracy theory that you can imagine. I was, to be honest with you, the reason why we didn't do the coverage today was partially because I was exhausted. But if I had and, and, and partially because I assumed this was going to be anticlimactic, hearing from Hill and Holmes. And had I known what I know now, I would have done it today and then just taken tomorrow off, 
frankly. And so um, that is the, um, uh, you know, that is what we've seen so far. We'll, we'll cover this tomorrow. We're going to start early tomorrow at 11 a.m. Um, uh, for a couple hours. Uh, but uh, Rudy Giuliani is, uh, is he going to jail? I don't know. Uh, Rudy Giuliani's got some problems. And, and yes, someone just said uh, the, the, the Senate will not remove Trump. I think that's absolutely correct. I do think that Devin Nunez um, someday is going to have a problem legally. That is just the sense I'm getting, but that is, um, that is, that is different. Um, that is a different uh, question. But um, yeah, the Senate's not going to remove uh, Trump. But again, in my estimation, this is about six or seven seats um, in the Senate. Susan Collins, Tom Tillis, trying to go east to west. Uh, Joni Ernst in Iowa, Sally McAdams in Arizona, Cory Gardner in uh, Colorado. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Well, actually, there's maybe a couple of seats in Georgia. Um, these are all going to be in play. And um, I, I think what happens in these impeachment hearings is going to have implications for that. And again, they've all been implicated. Pompeo, Mulvaney. Mulvaney is also getting really implicated today uh, with uh, Fiona Hill. Uh, John Bolton, I would not be surprised if he ends up testifying after this. Um, because Fiona Hill uh, at least put him in the center of, not necessarily implicated him in this whole Ukraine, Ukraine scheme, but certainly put him in the center of knowing that it was happening, instructing people, go tell the National Security Council lawyer so that we're all on record as not being part of what he called uh, a drug deal. Um, Pompeo is in trouble here and, and more. Um, I'm looking up here for a second because it is now breaking as of 20 minutes ago the AP is reporting that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been indicted on fraud, breach of trust, and bribery. This is, this is just coming across uh, right now. Wow. Oh, I love that. Is this Blair Witch? I, could, I have a whole story about the importance of that uh, movie in my life, but I'm not going to get into it. Um, wow, this is... Um, Okay, so uh, as far as I can tell, <clears throat> uh, Bibi Netanyahu has been indicted. Uh, this is going to move slowly. And then the real question is, what are the political implications of it? Uh, but uh, better that he's indicted than not, in my opinion. Um, so uh, a crazy day. Uh, Devin Nunes uh, started off the hearing today with um, uh, more just... Um, uh, craziness, but there is a story uh, in the Daily Beast. And, and I, I, listen, I would encourage you, if you have not watched these hearings, go back and watch just the first hour and a half of the hearings today. Um, and um, there's a story in the Daily Beast, shoot, I should have probably, about Devin Nunes going with uh Working with Lev Parnas, this is by Betsy Swan. Lev Parnas, he's indicted associate of Rudy Giuliani's and incidentally was my Halloween costume this year. That's not a big deal. Um, helped arrange meetings and calls in Europe for Devin Nunes in 2018. And it ended up uh, Nunes's aide, Derek Harvey, participated in the meeting. Now, it's weird. I, I don't know how to place this. This was from November 30th to December 3rd in 2018. And all the things that we've been hearing about in the context of the impeachment, 
basically seemed to start in the spring of 2019. And so there was, it's unclear, like it, 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 there, it, it's becoming clear that that Rudy Giuliani had some other interest in Ukraine that seems to have diverged at one point with all the stuff that we're hearing about the impeachment. And I suspect, this is complete speculation, but, we do, but I suspect that Rudy Giuliani had something going on over there that involved money and required a national prosecutor who was either going to sanction or help in this endeavor that Giuliani was involved in. And, um, and uh, then it intersected with this. But listen, I'm going to get off because we're going to stream our uh, live show in just a moment. The live show, uh, or I should say the pre-recorded show, we did it, um, uh, we, we pre-taped it yesterday. It will bring you up to speed on impeachment up to today. It will give a brief recap of the debate. And then I would go back and I would watch the first hour and a half of today. So it's uh, live to tape. We'll be back live for live. Did I say Martha McAdams? God, there's something really wrong with, with, with my ability to remember her name. Uh, but I will take this opportunity to wash the ink off my hand and uh, I will take another nap. Thanks so much for uh, hanging in with me. And um, I'm going to try and do these more often now that I've figured it out. Okay, bye-bye. And I've uh, just figured out how to stop this, so that's pretty exciting. I'm really... <laughs> I guess Mr. Boomer figured it out. <laughs>